Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Today I'd like to teach you a bit about major scales um, and to hopefully answer this question, why does D major have two sharps? Um, so the last time that we talked, we talked about the difference between whole tones and semitones. Do you remember us talking about how notes can be beside each other in two different ways? Um, so the reason why learning about whole tones and semitones were so important um, was because it helps provide us the formula that we can use to figure out any major scale starting on any note on the piano. So let me show you how this is done. Um, okay, so here I have eight notes written out just to show you the formula. The major scale has eight notes in it and I'm going to use these eight notes to show you the formula before we use them on our own staff, okay? So I'm going to split these notes down the middle and the formula to learn is really easy. It's just whole tone, whole tone, semitone. Can you remember that? Whole tone, whole tone, semitone. Okay, so here's how we use the formula. So here's how I use that. This means that between these two first notes is going to be a whole tone between these second and third notes there will be a whole tone and between these notes over here will be a semitone whole tone whole tone semitone that is the formula that shows you the relation of steps between these notes okay and so if you can remember whole tone whole tone semitone then that means that you know the formula for the first four notes in the scale and if you can remember that, it means that you also know the formula for the last four notes in the scale. So it will be a whole tone between these two notes, a whole tone between these two notes, and a semitone between these two notes. Um, and so then the only other thing to remember is that then the way that we connect these two groups of notes is also through a whole note. So the um, the formula in total goes whole tone, whole tone, semitone, whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone. Okay, so that is the formula. Let's take a look at how to use this on a scale. So let's take a look at how to use that on an actual staff of music. Okay, now I have eight notes written out here from D to D because we've been working in the key of D. Um, I have eight notes because there are eight notes in the major scale, and I have given each of these notes um, a letter name to remind us that we always use each letter just once throughout the musical scale, okay? Um, and so let's apply the formula to the D scale and see what we end up with. So the basic idea is that we're gonna start here. Let's imagine that this first note is D, we're gonna look for a whole note up from D, and that will be E, okay? And so we already have E here, we can leave that. Now, next in the formula is a whole note, so we need to find a whole note up from E. But if you'll remember, E and F are right beside each other on the piano. They're a semitone apart. So we need to find a way to adjust the F to be a whole tone. Can you think about how we might do that? We do that by adding a sharp to the F. Now, an E to an F sharp is a whole tone, okay? From an F sharp, very conveniently, a G is a semitone away from the F sharp. So the semitone brings us right to a G. We can leave that note the way it is and then we're going to, here we've just finished the first four notes, now we're gonna do the last four notes. We're gonna find the whole tone that brings together the two sections, so that will be G to A, that's fine. And now we're gonna do whole tone. A whole tone up from A is B. A whole tone up from B Ooh, B and C are, again, they are semitones apart. So what can we do to C to make it a, a whole tone away from B? We can add a sharp. So we'll add a sharp to C. And we'll just put that up there. And 
we'll just add a shark here for consistency. And then the last step is a semitone, and the semitone up from C sharp is a D. So we can see that by following the pattern of whole tones and semitones, the formula that we figured out, um, that it leads us to having F sharp and C sharp. Okay, so if all this makes sense to you, how we use the whole tone and semitone formula to create major scales, then I have a bonus challenge for you, and that is to figure out how many sharps or flats F major would have. Ooh, okay. So um, pause this video if you need to to get taken all of this information. Here's what I have for you. So at the top, I have shown you the formula, whole tone, whole tone, semitone, connected Y whole tone with another group of whole tone, whole tone, semitone. So that's the formula you're using. I also have the staff written out here with every letter of the alphabet labeled for you. So you can copy that or you could just use it on the screen if you like. And then also, just in case you forget the order of sharps and flats, I have um, a little note here and indicating that the note to the left of the note would be the flat and the note to the right of that note would be the sharp. So hopefully that helps you keep those straight. Um, good luck and have fun. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.